Okay, I want you to imagine the things I'm saying in this video, and I guarantee you've never thought about it before. This is along the lines of a Bible study. I'm just sitting out here at night. I'm telling you what I'm about to tell you is possible because I've lived it. You know, I've gone 20 years without watching TV now. 20 years. I want you to imagine never watching TV again. I want you to imagine this. Never again watching TV. I want you to imagine never again drinking beer or alcohol. Never again. I have so many friends. They buy a six pack of beer every day and take it to their house. I want you to imagine how much better your life would be if you never touched alcohol again as long as you lived and how much money you would have all the time. I also want you to imagine if you never smoke cigarettes again. Never smoke cigarettes. Just tomorrow, stop smoking. Never touch cigarettes again. You'd have 200 extra dollars every month for the rest of your life. We're all complaining about inflation, but we smoke cigarettes every day. I mean, as a society, I'm talking as a society. I want you to imagine never, ever looking at pornography on the Internet again. Imagine the freedom of never, ever looking at pornography. Most people look at pornography, or at least at the beginning, because they're bored. Especially in this Internet technology-driven society. You see, they've reprogrammed your brain. They've reprogrammed your brain. Technology, every time you look at it, your brain becomes different. You just don't know it. And so you're bored because you're not doing something every five minutes. So pornography is just like a video game now. When actually it's a sin. It's a, it's a great sin against God the Father. Speaking of video games, imagine if you... I'm talking about freedom, your time, and your money. Think of the freedom you would have in your life if you never had to play video games again. Like, well, I enjoy it. No, you don't enjoy playing video games. You sit there screaming, yelling, frustrated. See, video games are exactly like gambling. Gambling is designed to always win for the house. Same with the video game. You always get to a certain level and you lose. Because that's the way the game is designed for you to lose. When I was a kid, they had these, um, this was back in the 1970s. Now think about this. It's the same gimmick today. It's a gimmick. They had, you know, these mazes. You know, you would have a puzzle maze and you try to find your way in one side and out the other. Well, they had fake ones that there was no way out, no matter which route you took, which path you took, you always came to a block. You couldn't make it out of the puzzle. It was like a joke puzzle, like in the back of comic books or whatever, or magazines. That's the same thing today. 
It's a joke video game. Pornography is a joke on you. All these things are against God. Imagine if you never touched junk food again. I mean, just think about potato chips. I'll take that. It's the most common one of all junk foods, potato chips. Imagine if you never had to pick up a $5 bag of potato chips two or three times every week. Imagine if you picked up a real bag of potatoes, five pounds of potatoes for $5 and fed your family actual potatoes. So here's what the video is about. I want you to imagine these things. Imagine never having leftovers in your refrigerator. Imagine never having to buy condiments. Ketchup, mustard, relish, mayonnaise. You don't buy them, you don't touch them. Don't you see, all these things in society are designed to get $5 each out of your pocket. But I'm going to give you the incentive of the freedom side of the story. Imagine the freedom. You know, people ask me, you haven't watched TV in 20 years. I say, no, I haven't watched TV in 20 years. They say, what do you do? And my answer to them, they just stare at me. I say, what do I do? Anything I want. Because instead of watching TV for three or four hours, instead of watching a movie for three or four hours, instead of sitting down eating junk food and drinking beer or looking at pornography or smoking marijuana, that's the next big thing in the United States. They're going to try to get everybody to be high on marijuana and call it medicine. Several states are already doing it. It's just one more thing in the same category as everything else. So imagine if you had four extra hours every single night just for yourself. And I tell people, when you do, when you do not watch TV, when you stop watching TV permanently... Your choices are endless. You go for a walk, you go to the beach, you play with your kids. You might actually want to talk to your spouse. <laughs> you can do anything you want. Or let me say that another way. I can do anything I want. But for the person that sits down and watches TV, they only have one choice. To turn the TV on because you're bored or you've been trained and sit there and just sit there and watch whatever. You know, they called it the boob tube, B-O-O-B, -O -O -B, the boob tube when I was a kid. Because only an idiot would sit down four hours every single night of his life and stare at a box that was sending out signals into your head. But if you know you, you do sports, football, basketball, baseball, reality singing shows, you know, the latest, greatest, you know, 12-year-old singer. There is no such thing. It's all a gimmick. Only about 1% of the entire population of the world is actually working inside the entertainment industry. But if you were to look at the news or look at the TV, you would think, it's more like 90% of the whole world 
relies upon the entertainment industry. That's not true. It's only about 1% of the entire population of Earth that works in the entertainment industry. But that's not the issue. The reason you cannot quit is because you now have an issue and they have caused an issue in your brain waves that if you're not doing something epic every hour of your awake time, if you're not doing something epic every hour you're awake, that's why you don't have a cabin built with your own hands. And you're not sitting on a rocking chair on a porch that you built yourself at night with your dog and your family looking out over your land. That's what's changed in America. What has replaced your future is all of these things I mentioned. TV, cigarettes, marijuana, your car payment, your house payment. It goes on. Alcohol. It, it never ends. Pornography. All of these things have destroyed your dreams. They have destroyed your life. They have destroyed your future. They have destroyed your present. You are being trained to do not read your Bible, play the video games. Do not read your Bible, drink a beer. Do not read the Bible and pray to Jesus. Do not trust in Jesus. Trust in the things of this world. You see, and that is what has happened. The devil, the enemy, has taken over that four-hour period every night, seven nights a week in your life. Because they don't allow you to watch TV and drink beer at work. They do allow you to smoke cigarettes, though. Even some companies are pressured to let their employees smoke marijuana as a medical issue. I'm telling you, 30 years from now in the future, everybody will be going to work drunk and high, watching TV. I'm telling you. it's So imagine the freedom. I will end the video with this. Imagine the freedom you would have in your life if you never had to spend time doing any of these things. Now imagine the freedom you'd have if you never had to spend one dime, no money ever again on any of these things. And the reason you can't think of something else to do is because they've changed your brain waves. When you are 10 years old or 8 years old or 12 years old, even 14 years old, you never had a problem coming up with something to do in your imagination that costs no money. Because you knew you were at home. You knew you only had four hours that night after dinner before you had to go to bed. Your mom wasn't going to drive you downtown and give you money to spend. So you quickly came up with some fun, exciting thing to do that costs no money. And, you, and here's the thing. Your heart and your mind were perfectly satisfied. You received 100% satisfaction just daydreaming, staring off into the sky as a, a kid, a young boy. Not today. You need $30 every day just to be satisfied for those four hours. But I want you to think of the freedom if you never had to touch that again and how much money you would have every day from now on.